what, I'm, what I love is when you look at people who are trying something a bit ridiculous, a bit insane. Um, there's one, one team that are looking at a vacuum cleaner game. I mean, it's, why would you do a vacuum cleaner? But then when you think about that, it's, it's a really good creative expression of something that's all familiar. And then you're putting a subtle twist to the way that works. And you're turning something which is routine and uh, kind of a little boring into something which is rhythmic and, and passion, potentially creating a flow. Uh, there's that mindset that you get into when you're enjoying a great puzzle. This idea that your brain is snapping into different connections as they recognise patterns. And when you get to this motion of doing that, you get into what we call the state of flow, which is a really exhilarating yet relaxing state of mind to get into. So if we can take even mundane ideas uh, and, and play with it, we can make an interesting statement on the state of our lives. You know, uh, Hoover game. Well, actually, that's interesting because what he's saying is it's actually almost in some ways a commentary on a lot of the social games we've seen today, which almost feel like work. Well, let's make a game that is work and make it more about fun. That was just one example. I mean, there are other examples of people who are sitting there and looking at you know, spaceships which go around and mine asteroids, uh, um, games which are trying to explore um, bees moving your head to represent you as the bee so you capture pollen of different types coming through. There are so many different creative ideas. It's a spectacular thing to witness.